if you are retiring from a very busy, hectic lifestyle, maybe a toxic work environment, maybe like a go, 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 you know, hustle, sleep is for the dead kind of lifestyle. If you're detoxing from that, like, obviously you're going to feel withdrawal effects. Obviously you're going to feel pain. Obviously it's not going to be all pleasant and it doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. And it doesn't mean you're ungrateful and it doesn't mean, um, you are, messed up in any way. It doesn't mean you're crazy. It just means this is part of the process. Welcome to the Early Retirement Advantage Podcast, where you will get weekly doses of inspiration to pursue financial freedom while caring for your mental health. After being diagnosed with several mental illnesses during the pandemic and getting fired soon after that, I decided to turn that into an opportunity to pursue FIRE, financial independent and retire early. If you're ready to kickstart your financial freedom journey while taking care of your mental health, you've come to the right place. You will learn the mindset and strategies to retire early from anything that no longer serves you. Let's talk about depression and mental health and early retirement. So as someone who have decided to retire from corporate because of my mental health, I also want to come clear. I also want to be completely honest about my mental health situation, my mental condition after early retirement. And I must say that for anyone who's trying to pursue early retirement, any like, you know, type A personality, very intense, you know, uh, overachiever people who take pride in their work, anyone who's like that, it's easy for you to fall into a depressive uh, period of time. And I'm not going to say depression because depression is, sign, you know, it's like a clinical term. It's not necessarily depression, but it is definitely a depressive period period of time for me and for um, many people that I've witnessed. I think part partially it is because our society likes to assign a lot of meaning and a lot of value to our job title, to our profession. And when you lose that overnight, which is what happens when you retire early, when you lose that overnight, when you lose your job title, company affiliation, and um, you know all, all these different glamorous titles, external validation, when you lose that overnight, it is easy for you to lose yourself. It is easy for you to feel like you are worthless because that that used to be where you draw your self-worth from. And that was also what happened to me. I clearly remember the couple months after I retired from corporate, I envisioned myself to be, you know, happy every single day and partying. And, you know, finally the big burden is gone. And you know how when you're working, all your coworkers like to joke that, oh, I wish that I have retired. I wish that today's a weekend. I wish that I don't need to go to work. And it almost seems like when you retire, it's like all your problems vanish. But then what you don't realize, what most people don't realize is that a new set of problem can arise. And that is, you know, identity crisis. And that is maybe a new period of a depressive state. Maybe that is struggling with figuring out what you want to do in life. Like what is the meaning of your life? And so all of these things happened to me. I had definitely, I definitely had a big identity crisis and I was, you know, constantly asking myself, like, why am I even here? What is my purpose in this life? What is the meaning of life? What is my role in this life? Who am I outside of being, you know, the big four auditor, accountant, um, the woman in tech? Like, who am I outside of all these different titles? And even for a period of time, like I didn't jump straight into my business. I actually took some time off. Um, granted, my team handled a lot of things behind the scenes, but I actually took, you know, some time off in between during my early retirement period. And it was very eye opening to see how uneasy I was, how restless I was, because it was very hard for me to get used to this new life of you don't have to do anything. And you don't have to work and you don't have to output. And because I assigned so much value to me, you know, outputting, creating content, being productive, it was extremely hard for me to be okay with resting. It was extremely difficult for me to reconcile with my early retirement life. 
And I think that is something that a lot of people don't talk about. I think early retirement tends to be, you know, this um, shiny thing, this, you know, paradise, utopia kind of situation, but it's actually not. It could be dystopia for a long period of time and you can feel quite stressed out even. You can feel quite lost. And I just want to say all of this is normal because you're basically going through a detox. It's like if you are addicted to something that's really bad for you, then when you are first trying to get off of that drug or get off of whatever that addiction is, you would suffer and you would feel pain. And that is totally normal because you are going through withdrawal. So same thing with early retirement. If you are retiring from a very busy, hectic lifestyle, maybe a toxic work environment, maybe like a go, 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 you know, hustle, sleeve is for the dead kind of lifestyle. If you're detoxing from that, like obviously you're going to feel withdrawal effects. Obviously you're going to feel pain. Obviously it's not going to be all pleasant. And it doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. And it doesn't mean you're ungrateful. And it doesn't mean um, you are messed up in any way. It doesn't mean you're crazy. It just means this is part of the process. Early retirement does not feel like rainbows and butterflies in the very beginning. And there might be a period of time when you just really want to go back to work, not for the money, not for, you know, the income, but just for the familiar feeling, um, just for the safety. And just to feel like you are part of something because a lot of people, they're, they're going to work, not necessarily for just the income, but also for people who are there with them, maybe also for the peers and coworkers. And so, you know, people go to work for a lot of reasons and early retirement may or may not be your utopia. It definitely is right now, as of right now, it is pretty much my utopia right now. But that could change. Maybe in the future, I want to go back to the workforce. And that is completely normal. And that happens. I've seen other YouTubers who talk about early retirement. They retire early and then they go back to the workforce. Um, I'm not sure if Beat the Bush is back in the workforce now because I just stopped following a lot of people. But um, last time I checked, which is a couple years ago, he did decide to get a job again. And so this can happen to a lot of people. You don't need to feel guilty either way. If you're not enjoying early retirement right now, then that's completely normal. If you want to go back to the workforce, that's also completely normal. There's nothing wrong with it. Just know that the world is a complex place, right? Early retirement is complicated. The human psychology is complicated. And so anything can happen. I just want to point out what can potentially happen, which is you can have depression after retiring early. You can be a, in a depressive state after retiring early and you might need you know, a period of time for you to adjust. It could be a couple months. It could even be a couple years. And in order for you to even detox from your previous habits, it can feel like crap. It can feel like crap. And that is normal. And, you know, sometimes we just need to suck it up. Doesn't mean we're doing it wrong. It just means that we are going through a transition period. Um, and these are growing pains. Share this episode with anyone you think can benefit from it. Thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe. If you absolutely loved what you heard today, be sure to share it with me by leaving a review or taking a screenshot of this episode, tagging me at cherrytung.co and sharing it on Instagram where I'm most active. I can't wait to connect with you. In the meantime, go out there and seek your freedom.